All right, so good morning, students. It is so good to see you all. We are going to have a Socratic seminar, and our Socratic seminar is over the novel, The Great Gatsby. You should have read up to chapter seven. And the thing with the Socratic seminar is for us to have a discussion, discuss the characters, we're gonna discuss the situation. I'm grading you based on your participation. So I'm gonna give you 20 minutes to ask your prepared questions. You should have at least three questions prepared for the Socratic seminar. You have 20 minutes, you wanna make sure that each person speaks at least three times. And go. Can you hear me? Okay, all righty. So, all right. So, let's try this again. And we are talking about The Great Gatsby up to Chapter 7. So, you can include some of that juicy stuff that happened in Chapter 7. And go. Jenny, sweetie, like, can you say something? I'm not really supposed to be talking. This is your thing. Um, and you now have 15 minutes remaining, right? So I can I can get you right now. Yeah. I'm sorry, I didn't know you could hear me. I thought I muted my mic. No. So, uh, well, since we can hear you now, <laughs> and we heard you then, uh, let's hear your first question. Uh, I'm gonna just be real. I didn't read the book, so. So, uh, how is the character Jay Gatsby presented to the reader? We really see the portrayal, like, between Gatsby and like also bring in the author, bring in the character Daisy, like it really ties in the meaning of the whole story, even in the first seven chapters. Did we hear that? Were, were we listening? Hi, Jenny, hello. Makeup down. Makeup down. Now, Josie is participating in Socratic Seminar. She's bringing all types of insight. Do we have a Josie in our class? I don't, I, I'm not trying to be rude. <laughs> um, I don't remember you. Do, does anybody know Josie? Hey. But um, Josie, did you say that you were from uh, Illinois? Yeah. Okay. I don't so, know. Um, hmm? I just kind of clicked the link and now I'm here. Hello, class. Yeah. Why is it that the only person who did my assignment was a little girl from Illinois that's not even in the class? I don't even know. I can't even give her a grade. Can I take her grade though? No. Okay, what's going on with reconnecting? You've been re reconnecting for 20 minutes. I know the people who like created Zoom and no one can reconnect for 20 minutes. Has she, okay. All right. I really think that this isn't a real person. So if you're really there, 
I'm gonna ask for you to remove your hat. You know how many teachers you're probably fooling? Not me. No, I'll give you an E. That's how you spell effort, ha ha. There's a minute remaining. Jenny, really? Who puts on makeup the entire class? I want to thank you for crashing or hacking or whatever like criminal activity that uh, occurred to wind you into a Zoom for a class that's actually in Southern California. I think it's embarrassing that the only person that did my assignment was someone who I did not give my assignment to. It's a stranger. I figured out a solution. When we go back into the classroom, I'm gonna ask for you to be this quiet when I'm giving instruction. Be this quiet, okay? Yes, we're happy with that. Bye from Illinois, bye stranger. Thank you for reading.